Hello guys, what is going on? I'm here with Coach Gleason as we approach the big day. August 1st is just two weeks away. Um, these teams from the fall are getting their last practices in and then it all begins. So Coach, it's glad to see you in here today. Thank you for um, having me. How was How's the practice tonight? It was great. It was uh, very intense. We, we, we came off of a, a, a pretty large break over the weekend. Our guys last week were at Ohio Dominican for a team camp, so we gave them Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday off. So today was a, it was a, sometimes when you have these big breaks, you come out, you're not sure how that session's gonna go. It was a great session, a lot of energy, um, and, and the guys were, were juiced to, to, to perform. And let's start the interview off with how you wanna approach year two. Um, so, as we go from last year to this year, um, what strides do you want to make as we go into the new year? I think naturally the team is, is already making uh, a stride just simply because last year you have a new coach and, and we had a team that had graduated uh, the, the year prior under, under uh, Coach Mulvaney, his final year. They had a lot of seniors on that team and, and a lot of leadership and a lot of experience that graduated. So last year, not a lot of experience coming back. Um, new coach, very, very challenging uh, schedule. So all those things made it made it a, a, a challenge. But this year we're bringing back so much experience and it's my second year. These guys know what to expect from me. So we're expecting to make great strides both in our back end defensively and, and in the attack, hopefully hoping to, to, to put more balls in the net and, and definitely win more games and, and see how high into those OCC standings we can climb. Absolutely, and that could be, and to get these fans back into the winning program for this boys soccer team that Coach Mulvaney ended his tenure off of would be amazing. Um, for Let's talk about when you got hired here. Um, Coach Mulvaney, obviously, great guy. Obviously, my first year reporting was his final year. So, what was it like being announced as the brand new head coach last season for Grove City. It was very exciting for me. I got into uh, I got into coaching after uh, I played at Ohio Dominican after my final season there. I, I wanted to continue into uh, with soccer, so my avenue for that was coaching. So I started coaching for the, the crew juniors and, and eventually I knew I wanted to coach high school soccer. I liked the community aspect and I my ultimate goal, my, my reasoning for getting to high school was ultimately to coach here. So it was a long journey. I did five years at Central Crossing. I had one year at Hilliard Darby as an assistant and then two years at Groveport Madison and, and all that kind of led me to this point. So so getting that job was pretty surreal. It was a, it was a, a lot of hard work, dedication and perseverance to, to get to this point. So obviously when, when, when given the opportunity, I was super excited and um, I'm, I'm very happy to be here and, and I'm the circumstances couldn't be better. I got to, we have in this new turf field, it's beautiful. Uh, it's just, I, it could, the situation couldn't be much better. So we're just looking forward to getting this thing moving in the right direction. And we, you bring up the turf field. Um, playing under that turf field last year, I'm sure the players have to feel some sort of joy just moving from grass into the, this new turf field, um, even the, juniors and seniors that have played soccer all throughout their years. They have played the grass, they've played the turf, so they've known what it's like. So how has it felt to them and how has it felt to you as a, as a coach as well to have this turf field out here? I think it gives our players a sense of pride. Most, a lot of them play club and when they play club, they're, they're largely almost always playing on turf surfaces. So. Being a high school prior that didn't have a turf surface, I think uh, maybe maybe they felt like they were looked down upon for that, right? And our old field's a little smaller and all this, so so the turf field is a real sense of pride, and I think it makes them feel more uh, official, almost so to speak. Especially considering how many of the OCC schools now have turf, there's only a handful that don't. So it definitely makes them feel um, like they're a higher end program, and and as a coach, it just makes it so much easier because. When we train, when we play, we, we know we can expect a true balance. We can expect good roll. The ball, the, the pace of play is fast, so it's it's very positive uh, all around. And we're, it, it's we're we're very fortunate and lucky to have it, and and grateful. Sure. Um, so then we go into 
when you guys started these workouts and the conditioning all last winter obviously it presents a challenge that this rec center over here is getting completely rebuilt because now you gotta share the weight room amongst basically every single team in the gym so going into the off season and you starting all these what has these players how have they been excuse me um competing with all these other teams in the weight room well um so fortunately for us the rec center and the weight room was available to us all winter by the time that it all shut down it actually uh was no longer a point of emphasis for us so we moved onto the onto the field and outdoors to where we were conditioning outside our our focus kind of turned a little bit from lifting to more uh agility uh sprint work long distance conditioning it was it became more about fitness for us than strength and in our workouts we do a lot of plyometrics to still emphasize uh um that muscle mass and, and, and building muscle but we want to make it more lean so so the weight room fortunately for us by the time all that closed down we weren't really needing it anymore so it really hasn't affected us at all which has been great we had access to it all winter when we needed it and then when we were ready to move on to the fitness aspect it, you know that's when it closed down so it really didn't affect us at all which was very nice before we talk about how these players progress throughout the winter i'd like to take you back into last season last season i know like you said already new coach new scheme for these players to learn but what was some of your favorite moments from last year uh, from from last season i would say we we got some of my favorite moments just throughout the year as we watched guys gain experience and and honestly we struggled uh, and, and watching them struggle knowing what that was going to bring them in the future because like i said a lot of them are young and experienced guys last year now they're bringing that experience a year of experience is a long way in high school sports so so one of some of my favorite parts of last year is just knowing what the future held maybe these guys didn't fully see that or, or comprehend it um but i i knew and i had the foresight to see what 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 the experience as young players was going to bring them in the future so i'd say that that was pr probably some of my most e exciting parts of last year also um just as a as a to pick out a, a single moment when we played central cross and we had to play them on our our new home field they were coming in on a high five and one we hadn't won a game yet we were zero and five and and to to beat them and beat them handily which is something that had had happened in the past and, and um has a, almost always happened in the past to continue that tradition was was a very high point for us for sure um how important now you mentioned central crossing how important is central crossing to this grove city high school soccer team um if i'm being honest it's it's not really too much on their radar our, our aspirations are you know to our Central Crossing is not on our schedule this year, so the only chance we'll play them is in the tournament. So our guys are have their sights set on uh, Canal Winchester on August 12th, that first game. A lot of these guys really have their eyes set on that first game and nothing beyond that. Uh, you know, we want to compete in the NROCC and, and finish in a higher place and, and maybe even compete for a title. You know, we, that's something we haven't really done our, our sit down goal setting yet. But I think that their, their eyes are set more on that August 12th game against Canal. And then if they want to go long term, they're really looking at, um, you know, what, what can we accomplish in our OCC division? And also when we get to the tournament, how far can we go? Can we find ourselves in a district semi and a district final is the ultimate goal. We want to get to a district final and then roll the dice and see if we can't win one and move on to regionals. I think that's where this team really has their eyes set. And it's great that these players have their eyes set on a Canal Winchester game and not a game in the long future. It's kind of similar already to this football team as they have their aspirations on let's get focused on the first game and even as a whole, let's focus on Grove City High School. Let's focus on getting better. Let's focus each and every day, every practice, every minute, every down. So. This, I'm sure you guys would have the similar physique with yeah. Coach Waits in the football team. Absolutely. I mean, we're just we're taking it one day at a time. Our goal is every day to get a little better. And, and, and you know, we preach to them when you're here. Out, you know, imagine what your opponents are doing. Hopefully, you're outworking them. That means you're, you're gaining on them. We don't want to lose ground on our opponents. And, and ultimately, we're, we're just looking at August 12th, that first game. We want to start the season 1-0. Right now, that's the most important game. Is 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 this uh, that that Friday, August twelfth, that first game? That's the most important one. Absolutely. So, 
like I said earlier, we'll talk about how these players have progressed. Um, so out of the weight room, you guys did agility, sprints, long distance, and then you guys kind of gotten into the practices a little bit. Um, how have these players kind of grown as the weeks have gone, as it's gotten hotter out, as the summer has come? I would say that they, I mean, they definitely grown together as a group. It feels more cohesive than than last year, uh, but they're also, they're just eager. There's a lot of guys playing in new positions in different spots and, and they're all eager to learn and, and just become one um, so that we can provide, we can put the best product we possibly can on the field and have the best season possible. The, I would, there, there's not many days where, where we're talking about effort with these guys that are really pushing themselves day in, day out. We do, you know, we preach leadership and, and, and a lot of the mentality stuff more than the on the field stuff. And it's really coming along. Now we still have strides, strides to make and, and, and progress to make, but I'd say that the progress we've made thus far is, is, um, I'm happy with, but I'm also looking forward to how much farther we can get it, especially by the end of the season going into the tournament. And we have a, you know, uh, this weekend will be a great test. We're actually hosting a summer tournament on Friday, Saturday, Sunday here at Grove City. And there's a lot of the best teams around. Some of the best teams in the state are gonna be here. New Albany, uh, Pick North, Mason out of Cincinnati. There's a, uh, Anthony Wayne, there's there's a lot of some of the best teams in the state of Ohio will be here this weekend for out for a summer tournament and we're super excited to see where we stand. We're gonna play St. Charles and Owen Tangy Liberty, two of the better teams in central Ohio and in the state. And we we get a chance to face off with them this Friday and that's gonna be a great test to see where we're at and where we need to 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 go in order to to accomplish the goals that we have. Absolutely. Um and you bring up the summer tournament. Um what does, I know you kind of gone into it a little bit. What does the summer tournament have to emphasize on these players? So for, for as players, we want them to go out, compete, play the best of their ability and work on the things that we're teaching right now, that we're preaching in the, in the, this week and, and, um, and what, we've, what we've worked on last week at camp. And we're just, we're hoping to take this. We're trying to, we want them to emphasize those points, those tactics and as coaches we're really looking at the players individually to see you know who's excelling who's not um we have some some guys have multiple positions in mind so we're going to find out especially against stiff competition where are you going to excel the most what kind of player are you going to be this year what can we expect from you uh, it, it's it's a real chance for us as coaches to evaluate our players at a very high level uh which is so beneficial to do before that first game you know we're going to have these four games this weekend on top of three scrimmages to get it. So we're going to have essentially seven games to evaluate our players before we even get to August 12th, which is so, so, so beneficial as coaches. And for the players, they're going to get some time on the field uh, to start gelling as a, as a group and to start understanding each other's tendencies and, and to really become a team. And, and that's so beneficial to do that before that August 12th, 12th first game. Absolutely. So... I'd like to go backward into your playing days. You said you went into Ohio Dominican. Yep. And played soccer there. And then you got into your many years of coaching. Um, so when you coach here and your first, what's some of the mindsets that you have while the ODU experience kind of helps as well? Yeah, uh, I mean, we, we, I like to take a lot of the things that I learned as a, as a player at ODU, and I'm, I'm fortunate enough to still have relationships with, with the coach there. The coach at Capital was my assistant coach, you know, so I have, I have some positive relationships and people that I can, I can lean back on and, and to, to keep tactics up to date because soccer's an ever-changing game just like any other sport, mm -hmm. uh, tactics change. But also I, I still use some of those principles I learned um, while at ODU and I try to transition them in, into our team and, and, and create our style and brand of play based off of that. But also, you know, I was a, an alma mater of Grove City, so I also like to think back to when I was here and, and the blue collar aspect of our team, how hardworking and, and um, hard nosed this team was. And we're hoping to lead the program, you know, to continue it that way. We want, we want our guys to be hardworking. We want them to be hard nosed, have a little bit of edge to them. So we're trying to use those tactics and, and, and I'm trying to mesh them together from what, what Grove City's identity has been and always and always will be, and also some of the stuff I learned in my college playing days, and then the advanced tactics that I've learned post. You know, we're trying to mesh that all together to create one cohesive program with a that has a, that moves together 
with a goal in mind. Absolutely. Uh, one last thing, August 1st, it's the big day. It's when all these fall sports have their tryouts and that's when everything comes together. Um, what are you looking to do with your team in the last two weeks as these guys prepare for that August 12th game? So these, this, this week we're, we're training to get prepared for the summer tournament. We're, we're putting in our, our most fundamental um, tactics uh, on the back end of the, on our, what we would call our defense, our defensive shape. We're really working on that all week this week. Next week we'll move into the attack. So we'll have the foundation set. So when August 1st happens, we have tryouts. August 2nd, we'll, we'll hit the ground running. We'll be training and we'll be, we'll be working more to fine tune these tactics. Um, and then we have a scrimmage on the 3rd of August. The 4th of August, we also have a scrimmage. Friday, we'll have we'll train. We have a, a, a huge team bonding event that we're doing an all-nighter. Um, you know, and then the following week, we have two practices, scrimmage on uh, on the 9th, and then another couple sessions, and then our first game. So it's just, at that point, it's, it's the foundations, over the next two weeks, our foundations will be set, and it'll be about more fine-tuning our tactics. And also, we're always continuing to evaluate and, and, and uh, grow on the fly if, we need, if, if need be. Coach Gleason, it was great to be out here with you. I know um, this nine o'clock night is actually pretty impressive here at Leisure Field. With the lights off, it actually kind of creates a little scenery out oh, here. It's very pretty. Um, thank you for coming out. I hope to see you again. I'm looking to come out on August 1st after the tryouts come. I know I have a lot of interviews to do with a bunch of coaches. So it's gonna be a big day, Coach Gleason. Thank you so much. Thanks Ouch. for having me. And go dogs. Yep.